Hello, Randall Monk and Ron of Zane here with a gem of wisdom from Archangel Michael. Hope you're all doing well. We're happy to be with you again. Love force, mind force, life force, physical force. While seeking self-mastery, you must still experience and overcome trying relationships. When you lose your temper, you tap into the negative, distorted vibrations of the lower astral planes. <clears throat> Every time you do so, to one degree or another, you contaminate your auric field with the vibrations of discord. So, in this, this mm -hmm. last series that uh, mm -hmm. we brought to you, uh, we've talked about the different eras and, and, and the different stages of life and the progression and so on. And so um, we'll kind of continue that in a way with how um, we as a create as a co-creator uh, force in the material planes, how, how we have used the divine will power. The further we go back, when we were in the three lower chakras, it was all by physical force. The power, the one that had the, the guy that had the biggest club, he ruled everybody. Mm -hmm. The one that had the most powers men at that time, and even now some, because the men were more power, the women were the weaker sex, and they weren't as smart, and they weren't as uh, advanced, and so on. And so, for the lower frequency of life, force is the way. Can uh, I, can I, can I remark you for a second? I just want, I want, I want to make sure people don't misunderstand what you said. You said, the, you have, you almost sounded like you said the men are smarter. I meant men think men think they're smarter. Yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah. just wanted to be sure because it sounded that way, and I knew that you didn't mean that. Yeah, no, yeah. no. Okay. Can, and so now. No, we can make it just like a conversation. That's oh. We can, we can do that. <laughs> okay. okay. Matter of fact, it'll be kind of fun to do okay. it as a conversation. Okay. okay. No, uh, uh, the men. <clears throat> the philosophy was that the men were the superior race. They were smarter, and women were weaker because they were smaller, and 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 that uh, emotions were a weakness. Yeah. It was the mind, the mind, and the will, and and the force of power. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And. Um, <clears throat> So over time, over time, now we're in the lower three chakras of survival, instinctual nature, power, sexual energy, and, and the lower emotional, subconscious, and uh, basic conscious mind. And so as we progress over time, people begin to have some individual thoughts, people begin to think some for themselves. And what, what do you think we're in now? We are in a transition that animal human nature, that human human nature, are freak lower frequencies, which is using more force, more emotions, less mental reasoning power, not putting it all together and definitely not listening to the nudgings of spirit. And so that's what it's all about. We have to honor our physical body and we have to honor all of those gifts that we've been given in our physical body from, from, from enjoying nature, from seeing, from hearing, from tasting, the sexual, beautiful sexual uh, blending, we are here to perfect and to enhance those wonderful abilities because that's what's being on the, mm -hmm. the, the, mental, the material plane of consciousness, but not doing harm to no one in its higher form. We're refining it. We're, we're, we're our understanding that love is a deep emotion that comes from within, not from a reflection from someone else. We are turning inward for validation of who we are and what we are, not our status, our job, how we look, our figure, our family, our color, our, our sect, our, whatever. And so gradually we are beginning to understand that attaching those energy cords to others to get, to get their approval and to maybe draw on their force, we've forgotten that we have all we need, the divine willpower and the creative energy, the intelligence, the love, adamantine particles, all of it from the source through the angelic beings, the great beings of light and from our sacred heart center, but we have to ignite it, we have to activate it. 
and we have that. What do you think what they're telling us? Return to neutral, come back to your center, do no harm. That is the bridge. That is the bridge becoming, getting past the human and the animal human instinctual nature into beginning to become God empowered and divine will and stop using the force of the physical or the mental planes. It becomes, it becomes empowered. It becomes overlaid with love and compassion. It becomes higher frequency and it taps into abilities that support those thoughts. Each level that you move, a subdimensional level you move in has, adds more universal laws and expands them and adds them some more, just like in grade school. And the different, you, and you, you learn more, you refine it, you add to it. If you will look at Archangel Michael's teachings over the years, they have changed. The basis is still there, but he adds more to it and refines it. One of his sayings was, this is exactly the way something is, but it's the best way we can explain it to you for your level of understanding. What we are understanding now that we have available to us all the gifts of the three God rays and the seven, seven rays of this of, of, uh, that we have been in the third and fourth dimension, but we're adding the five higher galactic rays. And that is giving us the willpower the love power, the creative power, the emotional refined nature, the mental expansion into our higher consciousness, into our sacred mind, into that antikoronic rainbow bridge of cosmic consciousness, so that we know that. Why do you think they gave us that creative wheel, that, that the theory, creative wheel, that, 12, that, had, that Michael gave us to six, six, Send out stick infinity breaths, and, and that's 12 builds your flow of life. The big, big wheels that we, he showed, showed us and created for us, and even the higher realms. They are there. There's, there's the seed thoughts, there's the memory seed atoms. Then what do you do? You have to tap into the mental power, the love force, that creative divine will source through the breath. Why, why do you think that he's given us, we've been given the infinity breath and, and all, of these, all of these different ways to breathe and so on? That's carrying the pure energy of creation which activates that. So what we say, every day, every day, every thought, every action is either increasing or diminishing your willpower of creation. And one of the four first things to take back your integrity, your power, is to begin to set boundaries of where you've given yourself away in hopes of getting acceptance and, and, getting, and, and getting validation from those out in the world. Why do you think that the monks and the, and, and the uh, avatars and the ascended masters began to withdraw from the world, to turn inward? For they knew that, that that's where the keys to the kingdom are. That's where the tre treasure chest of infinity is. And so, one of the greatest things to remember is that moment, that now moment, that still moment of God creation is either adding to your gifts, talents, and your willpower, or it's diminishing it. It's, it's, uh, the negativity where it becomes chaotic and distorted and you know, think about it how much how fast so many things are changing and happening if you take this you do something negatively and you kind of know it and then you get a rap and you say well I really should have done that and it's happening so quickly we're getting the message so we've learned that I much rather Say, thy will be done in your time, not mine. Because that's what we know. We're in the flow. And that surrender, we have learned that the highest good is what will come. Because that's what our higher self, our sacred triad, and the great beings of light, and our Father, Mother God, that's what they want. That's what the divine blueprint is. All the love, the wisdom, 
the creativity, the beauty, the harmony, and the balance that you can integrate, contain, and then share. You have to keep the flow. You, you, so many people stagnate. They read and read and read, and then they, then they become sort of bloated with information and nowhere to go. And the minute you do not keep that flow going of sharing, sharing, whatever level, everyone has something to share. Everyone has, there are people behind them that are waiting for, to listen to what they have to say. And so those adamantine particles you bring in and the ones that are in your root chakra that are coming up with your divine blueprint, if you move with that flow of the divine will, turn the force into that beautiful stream of love light with your mental nature over, overlighted by your sacred heart, you cannot, you will not fail. And so that's the difference between power and force. And believe me, it's worth it. It takes time. And set it, like we said, setting the boundaries, the virtue of selfishness began to come who you truly are because the validation of who you are is in here, not out there. Thank you, Rana. Now, this quote also talks about um, the fact that when we lose our temper, we contaminate our auric field. And it comes back to what we've talked about in the past, emotions. It's important that we are in control of our emotions rather than they being in control of, uh, having them being in control of us. And it's a simple thing, but is it easy? No, absolutely not. But if it was easy, uh, what, everybody would be able to do it with no problem. And, and, and ascension would be a Yeah, a and we'd all be ascended <laughs> right now. Yeah, exactly. So um, we encourage you to, you know, move into that feeling. You know, when you feel an emotion coming up, acknowledge it. Because when we acknowledge it, we're being mindful. We're being present in that still point, that, that moment. And it's easier to take a breath or two and be in control of that emotion. Otherwise, it runs away with us and it controls us and it can be addicting. Anger, losing our temper can be an, uh, very addicting and very, it takes over. And uh, a self-master has control of that. And it's, a, it's something that, you know, we need to work on if we want to move up that scale of us, that ladder of ascension or whatever you want to call it. Much love and many blessings from our hearts to yours. And Bye what, for now. And what I'd like to say to you, I know many of you, all of you are having trust challenges and lots are going on and it's very negative and it's very erratic out there. And just remember, you stay focused and rise above it. And it's not because you're doing anything wrong. It's because you're doing everything right and take, take the good out of it and just quit moving forward and keep radiating love. The more you send out, the more you receive. And we're sending you lots of love. Bye-bye.